Demon Slayer Season 3 in a nutshell, go. So the last season ended with the gang all on 1 HP, but they're still vibing while the Blind Master got too excited and started bleeding out. Of course, Mr. Musan didn't like the fact that one of his gang got packed up by a group of teenage boys and a child, so he put in that emergency meeting, but Akasa doesn't seem to know where he is. What the fuck? I was just home reading the fourth volume of Women's Rights for the third time, and now I'm here? Fuck, man, I was just about to get to the good part too. Why does Musan always do this shit? So Akasa arrives while this bitch is still out there playing her trash music, and now we are introduced to the first dickweed of this season, who is this nasty ass dude in a pot. Homeboy felt a little goofy too, so he switched the placements of his eyes and mouth. Mouths? This motherfucker got two mouths anyways. They tried to do a cool introduction slide for him, but there's no redeeming qualities for this man. And here is the second dickweed who's just a whole pussy ass bitch with the biggest cyst I have ever seen. But it seems like he's in a gang or some shit, cause he be throwing them things up. You didn't forget about me, did you, my little cutie patootie Akasa? Oh my god, dude. That would make me really, really sad. Don't touch me. How have you been, my little cranberry? <laughs> So this Sesko Doma is the upper rank 2, which means he's a better dick rider than Akasa, and he makes sure he knows that fact. He even managed to weird out the man with no hips, that's crazy. And then he dropped this out of pocket comment like he has some serious beef with Akasa. Say what again? I dare you, I double dare you, motherfucker! That shit was so smooth that the cameraman have a problem knowing where to look. Yeah, he just attack on Titan that shit, and apparently the upper rank 1 has been here the entire time too, just sitting here alone, dick in hand, waiting for Musan. And speaking about Musan, here he is in his crack lab, cooking up some real good stuff if you know what I mean. Yeah, now he's angry for some reason and snaps at his co-workers and even beheads the pot guy, but he's too horny to be felt up by his daddy, so that doesn't work. Yo, Musan. What the fuck are you doing? Now these two are on the way to Merc the Swordsmith Village, and of course these light skin want to come with. Fuck out of here with your bitch ass. Musan gave you orders, didn't he? Akasa. Fuck, I should have quit smoking. So this butterfly-eyed big boy is the upper rank 1 Coco something and he's a scary ass dude. Even got Akasa to cooperate. Anyways, he disconnects and now we back to our homeboy Tanjiro who looks totally messed up. Boy, ain't no way, boy. He has apparently been offline for two whole months after his scrap with sticks and twigs. Look at everyone being emotional and in line with their feelings, uh. So the rest of the gang seem to be okay, with Sinisu already out on a mission, and Tengen just straight up walked home directly from the battle scene. Inosuke seemed to be a little more critical than the rest because of the extreme stabbing he received. Okay, then I must really be tripping because I see him stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> You really thought a man that can relocate his organs would die? <laughs> nah, he was back on his bullshit a week ago. It took him about 10 seconds before he started something. I think we would be better off if he didn't wake up. After 16 broken bones, 23 severe fractures to his skull and losing one arm, Taniro is back on his feet after only one week. The plot armor kicks in for this dude even when he's not in danger. Inosuke already pissed out and Senisu is still not back fortunately. If that motherfucker was in this season, you would never have seen this video by the way. Big up all the Sinisu haters out there. Homeboy, however, still on his rehabilitating journey, gets a letter from the guy that has been his biggest op since season 1. Haganesuka, aka the guy that makes his swords. This is the type of shit they found by the Zodiac Killer. Anyways, to get a new sword, he has to go to the Hidden Leaf Village. Oh, sorry, wrong anime. The Hidden Swordsmith Village and talk it out face to face. And this village is like super hidden, so he has to wear both a blindfold and nose plugs because you know he got that nose. So they make it to the village safe and sound, but I don't even know if this counts as a village, cause there's like 8 houses in total with about 12 people living here. Anyways, he thanks the chick and heads out. Meanwhile... Whoa, 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 hey, hey! So he meets the leader of this village, who's this microorganism, and now this slows his side character is showing him around. And this way leads to the hot springs, the only place in this village where you can find bad bitches. Ah, yes, thank you very much, sir. This place has helped me many times with my hemorrhoiders. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at him being respectful or whatever, but either way, this is one of the Hashiras of this season. Yeah, you get two this time around, but this one is the one I relentlessly bullied in my first video. And I have no reason to stop, so if you like this shit, strap in.
Or maybe strap on, I don't judge. Anyways, now he's finally about to soak up in the hot springs, but he gets a fucking tooth thrown to his head, and guess who it is? The angry ass teenage boy who got his shit rocked by none other than homeboy in like episode 5. Tanjiro's still trying to introduce himself, but gets rejected on the spot, leaving him wondering what he ever did wrong. Bro, I swear this girl has the appetite of a small horse. God damn, calm down. And when did you two become best friends? Whatever, she whispers some seductive shit in his ear that must 100% count the sexual harassment and now he's heading out. I need to find that weapon Mystery was talking about, but where? Just give me the key, fuckface. What did you just call me? It's my mask. And no, I won't give it to you. What is going on? Just give me the key, dick wrinkle. What? Yeah, Tanjiro is just watching a full-blown Hashira and a kid no more than 10 going at it before he pulls out the physical violence, which is a clear red flag. Tanjiro steps in, but home is like, your voice is mad annoying. Who are you? My name is Tanjiro. Don't care. Weak ass. So this whole scream is is because Homeboy wants the key to the robot that looks like that one OP old dude, but the kid who somehow built it won't let it go. Tanjiro is doing what he does best and gets laid out flat again. Can't catch a break, can you? That kid is going head to head with the robot. She, he kinda good. And why does this crow have eyelashes? Of course he has to smash the robot, which makes Penis Mouth run away and cry, but with some motivation from our Homeboy, we go back and check out the damage. <laughs> Nah, just kidding, he's back in action, baby. But this kid is not satisfied and forced Tanjiro into a training scheme to beat Miss Boy. It ain't looking too good, though. His favorite position has been the floor for the past episode and a half. How is Tanjiro letting this kid treat him this way, dog? Looking like that one alien meme. But if you know anything about Tanjiro, it is that he will always beat whatever's in front of him sooner or later. This time he won in the most goofy way possible, but a dub is a dub. He broke that joint so bad, a whole sword came out. Oh my god! Time to unbox this bad boy. Yeah, what did you expect? He's 300 years old. When talking about special swords, only one man will appear. The Hulk? No, he's fucking Haganesuka? He was not built like this before, bro. Anyways, he wants the sword, and after some backup, small talk, and some more bullshit, he ends up taking it back to fix it up. Now Tanjiro somehow made it inside Genya's room, but that doesn't last long. Damn, she getting those Mitsuri braids. If you don't know how to braid, hit that follow button. Let's go! Ah, that was a refreshing bath. I can't wait to get home and cry myself to sleep, because there are literally zero women in this shitty town. Huh? Is that a pot? Hmm, that's weird. I should totally reach inside. <laughs> he turned that motherfucker inside out, still with the mask on. Meanwhile, Tanjiro almost got suffocated by Miss Boy, and now we start becoming best friends before this Ebola-ass demon comes in from nowhere. Homie can't get his hands out of his ass, but Tokido doesn't waste any time and goes in for the kill, but he fast as fuck. Tanjiro already pulls out the sun breathing, but misses, so Nesuko has to step in and demolish his ass. They are jumping this man, didn't even give him a chance. But of course, this upper rank demon demon has more smoke stocked up cause he's split into a whole nother person. Tokido tries the same thing again, but this demon ain't dealing with this bullshit no more. Now we lost Miss Boy while Nesugo and Homeboy stand head to head with the now two bitch ass demons. Oh my god bro, why did I have to be teamed up with your ugly ass again? <laughs> bro, we look the same. Shut up! Yeah, he electrifies the whole battleground while Tanjiro is getting cooked alive. Okay, this is really bad. I'm getting tingles all the way down to my ball sack. I must do something. Wait, does that... Does that man have a blicky? This man Genya pulled up with the sword off shotgun. Like, where was this shit two seasons ago? Anyways, he beheads the two, thinking he's the main character, but they just end up multiplying again. Tanjiro gets kidnapped off the job while he tries to tell Nesu to go to help Genya, but he already passed on. Homeboy is still trying his best out there like, I got this, I just need to release my ultimate and... If I gave you all my love... What the freak? Motherfucker is the joy demon, that's cringe. And if you thought Homeboy died, he didn't, because he's just built like that. But your Joy Boy is not done and is already going for round 2. Tokido is still trying to get back to his clique while he runs into this kid fighting this crackhead fish but he just ignores it, calling it a low priority and to be honest he's not wrong. Nah, he turns back and saves the kid. Yeah, so they team up while Tanjiro managed to slice up homeboy once more but that doesn't do shit and he hits him with a double speaker instead. If I gave you all my love. So there are 4 total versions of this one demon. Anger, joy, sorrow and pleasure. In other words, league players delusional, league players
fires and warm water in the morning. Yeah, they continue to go back and forth while Nezuko is over here with Leaf Boy, while the angry one has apparently taken the role as the team leader, because he's out there throwing shade to all his homies. What the fuck are you doing? Kill that bitch. Oh, you're making me really angry right now. Fuck out my business, gang. My name is literally Pleasure, so you know what I'm about to get into. Huh? That shit can't be right. Well, whatever. I'm too depressed to say anything. Now this black Air Force fueled motherfucker pulls out his bleaky again and just decapitates Blue Boy. But he just rips out his spirit and leaves Genya critical when he starts chanting some magic spell to get a full regen. He almost got his get back too, but the team leader got to him first. He did manage to get one last shot off that actually hits, but in reality, it won't do yak shit, will it? Green Boy decides that he's done playing around and puts a whole ass foot through a homegirl. But you know Nezuko ain't no bot either and comes back with the kick from hell, deleting his whole yaw. And she ain't even done yet. Now she pulls out her fire and starts cooking him alive while ripping off his arm and using his own leaf against him. <laughs> Meanwhile, this motherfucker has just been standing here talking shit the entire time. Don't talk shit, you pussy ass bitch. Yeah, this shit can't be legal. Blue Boy is still over here with Genya, who's trying to contact the gods, and it seems like he got some kind of connection, because now he's back online. Hanyuro somehow manages to crash right into the building while fighting Bird Boy and see the monstrosity that is going on to his sister. Rule number one has always been, don't fuck with his family or you will find out. Oh my god, Nezuko, are you alright? Here, let me help you. Good night, little boy. Uh no way, I'm a goner. Here comes Nezuko with her inhuman forearm strength and then throws some more fireballs at homie, but now this dude comes back from the lobby and just knocks them both out. Look at them appreciating their work like they almost didn't get folded by high schoolers. Meanwhile, we have another big problem in the city as these crackhead fishes are causing trouble. Like this dude is desperate to get some help. Alright, thank you for watching. First part is finally out and the second part is cooking. So if you get this video to 1000 likes, I'll drop it, yeah? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and check out this video. Wow, that looks interesting. Wait, don't cut me off! Uh -huh.